In this tutorial you will learn how to panelize surface with custom shape panels using Paneling Tools plugin for Grasshopper. With this skill in your toolkit you will have the power to create any kind of panelization you can imagine. So no more waiting around, let's jump right into it and start panelizing. First things first, we need to reference the surface that we want to panelize. To ensure that we have uniform contour point distances, we are going to rebuild the surface. The more contour points we have, the better distribution will be. Moving on, we'll create a grid of points on the surface using surface domain number component from the Paneling Tools plugin. This component requires two additional inputs, the number of spans in the U and V directions. Now when it comes to the points along the U direction, they will be placed in the same branch but each point will have different index item. On the other hand, points along V direction will have the same index item but different branches. So the U coordinate represents the item index while the V coordinate represents the branch index. By the way, the grid row is labeled with the letter I which responds to the branch index and the grid column is labeled with the J representing the item index. The point coordinates will be defined by the values along U and V directions. Alright, now let's dive into creating this custom pattern in Grasshopper. Once we understand the grid structure, we can place each shape into a separate panel and recreate it in Grasshopper based on its coordinates within the grid. So let's start with the shape 1. Based on its corners, we can see that it fits perfectly inside 4x4 panel grid. We'll extract UV grid coordinates of the shape corners and create a pattern from it. The same logic applies to the other shape in the pattern. Once we grasp the logic behind creating custom patterns in paneling tools, let's head back to Grasshopper. Now we know that inside each panel we should have 4x4 grid. However, we need to multiply that panel across the entire surface. To achieve that, we'll take number 4 and multiply it by the number of panels along the U and V directions. In the next step, we'll create the shape inside the panels using the panel connections component. We'll connect the grid to the grid input, where SI represents the number of panels in each row and SJ represents the number of panels in each column. The PN input is the pattern string or the list of coordinates inside UV grid that define the shape. In our case, is the one we created earlier. You can either type the pattern directly in the panel or you can use the following method. First, type each corner coordinates on a separate line. Then wrap them with the brackets using former component. And finally join them all into a single line with text join. Using the same method, we can generate custom panels with the shape 2. The only thing we need to change is the pattern string. If you want to take it a step further, we can create a structure based on the cell outline of each shape. We'll explode all point lines and remove duplicate segments using midpoint and cal duplicates components. After removing overlapping segments, we can create a branching pipe around the remaining lines. The result is a single sub D that can be converted into a low poly mesh. For better shading we can explode the mesh and join the faces back together using Veerbird join component. And there you have it, the final result. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments down below. If you want to go a step further, we created an extended tutorial where we'll teach you how to create more complex custom shapes like a star pattern. This one is a bit trickier as it requires some modification to the initial grid. In addition to that, we'll also provide you with two more examples so you can practice on your own. I think this is a great way to enhance your skills and explore different possibilities. 
If you like what we do, please consider supporting us on Patreon page where you can get access to the Xeno tutorial and with that you will also get access to all of our other Xeno tutorials and project files. The link is in the description. Thank you.